Hey, what's going on guys? In tonight's video, we're gonna be working on the Asus model number A53E. In this particular computer here, we're gonna be looking at the connection charging port that I'm having an issue with, which is right over here. That's the reason why this laptop is no longer functional because the charging port is loose. Now I'm showing you in this video how to take this computer apart, but right here we're looking at the back here. And as you can see, I got my memory here. The easiest thing to do guys is go ahead and pull your memory out. But the first thing to do, there is a cover right here that goes on the back right here. That's only hold on about two screws, one right there, one right there. Remove those screws and that actually slides backwards and just pulls right out. Again, that will hook in these little grooves right here. Once that's out of the way, just go ahead and put that out of the way there. And then go ahead and pull your memory out, guys. And if you don't know how to pull out your memory, they just lock into place right here. And you just push on this side and the other side at the same time like that. And they come up. Go ahead and remove those and get those out of the way nice and securely. Again, just slide those silver things out of the way there. All right, now with the memory out of the way, you have a lot of screws, okay? There's going to be one here, one right here, one here, 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 uh, and then we have the hard drive, but save that for later. We have one here, here, um, let's see, inside or right next to the hard drive. And then you can go ahead and remove, there's four holding in the hard drive. And remember the hard drive slides out this direction, okay? Here's where the hard drive connects. You're gonna slide that out this way. It pulls up right there. Then you have a small screw right in the middle right there. I have all my screws laid out over here in the correct order. So if we can see there, we have three on top, three over here on the right top, and then we have all these screws here. And then I laid out the hard drive screws right here. Again, the small one in the middle there. And again, I'm just using these little screws right here, these little screwdrivers right here. I'll link all this in the description box below, little Phillips heads. Again, we have another one right here, right here, right here by the battery, right here by the battery, and then one and three right there for the right side. So three on this side, one on the battery, one on the battery, and then two up here right there. Okay guys, next thing you wanna do is flip the laptop over and we wanna look at the keyboard because we actually will be removing the keyboard. Okay guys, the keyboard here, you're gonna see little grooves here at the top, right here, here, here. I believe there's four of them here. I've already released this, but I just took a large flat head like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna rock it forward and backwards, and that will go ahead and get in these little grooves here, and that will bring the keyboard up. Now you wanna bring the whole entire keyboard up, not just the plastic around the key buttons here, but the whole entire thing up. Now once you get it up, there's little clips here at the bottom that are clipping it in the bottom here. So again, you wanna go ahead and pull up like this, and then you wanna go ahead and back it out like this, hold it straight up like this, and then down here, you're gonna see the ribbon connecting the keyboard to the computer there. Okay, what you wanna do in this case right here, guys, is there's a little black clip holding it together here. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and release that black clip up, and then pull the ribbon out like this. There's the black clip right there, the ribbon slides right out, and again, then put the keyboard safely out of the way there. There's your ribbon right there. Now we're looking at this point of the video right here, and we see a little clip here, and we see a little clip there, and we see some screws in the middle, okay? We see one screw, two screw, three screw, four screw, five screw, six screw, seven screws, so let's take off those screws and then we'll release these ribbons here if we need to. All right guys, all the screws are out there on this front portion here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and flip these little black tabs up and we wanna go ahead and remove these blue ribbons here. So they just flip up this one from east to west, this one from south to north. You just flip them up and then go ahead and remove very carefully. You wanna remove those ribbons there. And once you remove these ribbons, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide out the CD-ROM drive to expose some more. So you just grab them by these, there we go guys. You just grab them by those little blue tabs there and they just slide right out like that. Okay, now we're gonna remove the CD drive here so we can get to three more screws on the bottom of the CD drive. And with that cable disconnected, again, make sure that ribbon's disconnected, then the CD-ROM drive just slides right out like that. And now we're looking at three screws here. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and remove these three screws. All right, once those three screws are removed here, now we look up top right here. Now, if you don't see a crack right here already, mine actually already had a crack, it already released. But what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and carefully bring our fingers around. And again, don't crack your little rivets here. 
and you're gonna work your way around the top here and let's put this down. We're gonna go ahead and pull this plastic part off of the computer here. Just work your way around the laptop very carefully. You're gonna hear some pops. The corners are a little bit better. Again, up here, they're gonna release all the way around the bottom here. It's even gonna pop down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove that very carefully here. Again, with your ribbons removed there. This whole entire thing folds up. So we have our keyboard there with our ribbons. We have the back of it right here. Again, all the way to the top right there, on the other side as well. Let's set that out of the way. We look at the motherboard right here with our other ribbons as well. So if you need to do any repairs on your motherboard, this is the time to do it. All right guys, now to fully remove your motherboard from the laptop computer here, you're gonna have to undo this ribbon here, which is connected right here. You're gonna have to undo this, this black little tab here, connected right here. And then you're gonna lift up a little bit of tape, slide this ribbon out of this little connector here. And then there are some screws on the fan. You have one here. And again, look all around the motherboard, making sure every screw is out completely before, just look around. I've already taken mine out, guys, but just make sure the ribbons are disconnected. And then again, the fan screw here. After that is done, go ahead and slip it up this direction, pulling up this way, because again, your connectors are bunched in right here. So lift it up and then slide it that way. It'll pull right out. Same way to fit it on back in. At this point here, we have again our silver screw up here for the fan. We have a silver screw here. We have a silver screw here. And there's little arrows pointing right here. We have a silver screw here, silver screw right there. That's a four on the motherboard. One up here for the fan makes five. Now we're going to go ahead and put back on. And before you lock it down, make sure that you put back your ribbon here and here. And then we're going to go ahead and lock it down into place. And then we'll put this one back again. But first we need to put back our CD drive as well. And all the screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven. All right, guys. Then we flip it around. And right here where the hard drive and CD-ROM would be right here. You put in one, two, three screws. Again, those are the tiny, tiny ones. One two, three. Now one of the seven screws is going to be a silver one right here. So slip your CD-ROM drive back in and it's going to lock up right on this little hole right here. Use your little silver screw right here and tighten that guy on up. So we have six black screws, one silver screw makes seven. Now we need to go ahead and re reattach our ribbon for our keyboard in this slot right here. And that again just pushes out, slip your ribbon back in and then lock it down nice and tight again. That, that slips from west to east up and then lock it back down east to west. It doesn't flip up, it just slides. So we'll put our ribbon back in and then we'll snap our keyboard back into place there. Make sure the tabs lock here, 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 and here. Nice and flush, completely like it was brand new. Nice and flat and level all the way around. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and flip it over and put the rest back together. And make sure that you plug back in your Wi-Fi cords here. White is on the left, black is on the right. And with our hard drive here, we set it in and then follow the arrows here and slip it back in so it connects to the motherboard here. There we go until you don't see any connections there. Holes line up. Alrighty, we have one, two, three, four screws there. And before we put our hard drive, remember the very small screw that goes right here before we put the hard drive in. So the four screws are in, go ahead and put back in your memory, latch them down there. And now we'll go ahead and work on the other screws up here at the top and all the way here at the bottom. After that, slip back in your battery and you are all set. You're all put back together. Now definitely check your work and I would lay it out all the different screws in the proper order. Fantastic. Again, look in the description box below for any of the tools that you might need. I did fix the laptop charger adapter here on the side, the DC 19 volt adapter here on the side. So check out the description box below for that video and all the links in the description box below. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're into it, please subscribe. I got a lot more awesome videos on the way. Take care guys, have a wonderful night, bye-bye.